Hi, Mark Quaid. I sing with the lacrosse chamber chorale. I've been with the chorale, I think, for about 10 years, and it's been a wonderful experience. In fact, uh, choral music singing has been a part of my life as far back as I can remember. Uh, starting at a very young age in elementary school, uh, church choirs, uh, on up through high school, <clears throat> and then uh, from high school I went to St. Olaf College in Northfield, Minnesota, and sang with the St. Olaf Choir. Uh, St. Olaf Choir is a very highly regarded collegiate choir in the U.S., and uh, every year we would go on a choir tour and sing for some, some very appreciative audiences. Um, and uh, I would like to recount one experience I had with the St. Olaf Choir that really drove home to me the power of choral singing. In the summer of 1970, which is the year I graduated, we went on a European tour with the choir, and uh, we visited several European countries, and uh, one of them was Germany, and at that time, Germany was divided into West Germany and East Germany, and was divided by the Berlin Wall. West Germany was considered the free Germany. East Germany, of course, was communist controlled, and uh, it was uh, really, frankly, a prison to the people who lived there, a prison in their own country. Uh, and so uh, I'm not sure how we got permission to pass through the Berlin Wall uh, and sing for these folks, but we did, and it was a wonderful experience. I've described it as going from a world of color to a world of black and white. We didn't see many people. Uh, those we did see were generally uh, security guards and soldiers with rifles, uh, making sure that nobody tried to uh, get through the wall or over the wall to escape into free West Germany. So we, we traveled through and we sang in some beautiful cathedrals uh, and the, the cathedrals, the audiences, we were just packed. Um, there were no seats left and uh, we had such a wonderful time. And after the concerts, the folks would come up to us, some with tears in their eyes. They just could not believe that a college choir from the United States would travel into their country, being held and controlled by communists, uh, to sing for them. And they just were so grateful, they, th they couldn't thank us enough. And uh, what a wonderful experience that was for us. It drove home to me the power of choral singing, the power to heal, the power to encourage, and frankly, the power to sustain hope in, uh, among people who essentially had no hope. And we, in the lacrosse chamber chorale, hope to be singing again very soon.